Good evening all, welcome to the YMCA Virtual Wellness Center. I'm Chuck and thank you for joining us this evening for Yoga Breath and Meditation. Part of the YMCA DC, Anthony Bowen on W Street. Shout out for Anthony Bowen YMCA. I miss seeing you guys in person. Thanks for joining me today. As I mentioned tonight, the class Yoga Breath and Meditation. Asanas for the body. Nidra, relaxation, little pranayama, some breathing, and lastly, some easy meditation. So it's Sunday night. I've been teaching a Sunday night class for many years. Music seems loud. And one of the things I like about the Sunday night class is it's a way of wrapping up the weekend and setting intentions for the week. And if you've been with me before, you know the classes are smooth, gentle I like to think of it as feel-good yoga but on Sunday night especially take care of your body take care of your mind take care of your spirit get ready for the new week all right so a couple of things before we get started and if you've been with me you've heard them before the safety reminders check your space make sure you have room I don't have any room at all there's like glass cabinets and walls around me but be careful, spread out, give yourself enough room. When we work, stand your comfort zone. We're gonna do some standing balances tonight. So if you're gonna be standing up, make sure you've got space around you. If you topple over and there's not a glass cabinet there, it's not a problem. If you topple over and there's a glass cabinet, that could be a problem. So be kind to your body, stay safe. And always, you hear me say it, I believe it to be true all the time. Stay hydrated, drink water. And as we prepare to begin, a few things to remind you of. And first of all, thanking you for your membership and support of the YMCA. Uh, the YMCA branches and staff are working hard to support the pressing needs of the community. And I know you guys have heard this from me before, but it's so important. It needs to be repeated each week. So a lot of the things we're doing at the YMCA, distributing free produce each week to anyone in need across the community providing emergency child care for children of medical professionals, supporting blood drives for the Red Cross, helping seniors stay healthy, active, connected, and fit, providing youth and families in critical need of services. And we all know right now there's a lot of people who are in need. And lastly, coordinating volunteers. And I've started to add a few sentences here at the end of this one because if you're lucky enough right now that your life has not been dramatically affected, this means you have the opportunity to volunteer, to donate, to help, and it's really important. So, you can support the YMCA efforts by visiting ymcadc.org. It's a great place to start. There are plenty of other places in your community. So, make sure you help out if you can. So, I guess it's time. Let's get ready. Come to that comfortable cross leg position. I'm on a pillow, on the mat, in a chair. Tall spine, chest high and open. Roll your shoulders up and back and down a few times. Settle in. Do a mudra right index and thumb together. Up with the palms or down with the palms. Take a big inhale and as you exhale, drop the chin down to the chest. We're gonna do some gentle neck rolls this evening. If you don't like the neck rolls, you can just take the chin parallel to the floor side to side. A few gentle neck rolls, inhaling up and back, exhaling out and down, loosening up, inhaling up and back, exhaling out and down. One more time, inhale up and back, exhale out and down. The next time the chin comes to the chest, stop and inhale, raise the head up, exhale, roll the shoulders up and back and down. Now let's go in the opposite direction. Inhale, exhale, chin down to the chest. Inhale up to the opposite direction and back. Exhaling out and down. Inhale up and back, literally unwinding, figuratively unwinding, out and down. 
One more time, inhale up and back. Exhale out and down and raise the head up. Big inhale, roll the shoulders up and back. Close your eyes if they're not closed already. And let's focus on the breathing. Our breathing is our diaphragmatic breath, a resting breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nostrils. As you inhale, the belly rises. And as you exhale, the belly falls. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling completely. And as you inhale, feel yourself breathing in energy and positivity. And as you exhale, breathe out any tension or tiredness. Let it all go. And I mean, let it all go for just an hour. And during our time together, you've heard me say it, asanas, that physical work for the body. Nidra, a little mini relaxation. Some focus breathing, pranayama, and ending with an easy meditation. So my story is always the same. It doesn't change too much. All these things we do are tools, tools to make our bodies, minds, spirits better, brighter. So before we begin, behind closed eyes, Resting your gaze upward and center, that center space between the eyebrows. Let's have you set an intention, big or small. A healthy body, maybe a bigger goal. But in your mind's eye, set your intention, know what it is, and know we shall return to it at the end of class. Take another breath, set your intention. And then slowly open your eyes and bring hands to prayer. You guys ready to breathe? You know it's all easy stuff with me. Inhale, prayer hands up. Exhale, float them out and down to the sides. Hands back to prayer. Inhale up. Exhale out and down. Hands back to prayer one more time. Inhale up. Exhale out and down to the sides. Hands back to prayer to each and every one of you. Hearty namaste. And thank you for joining this evening. Let's keep that breath going a little longer. Sit even taller, arms go forward. And now inhale, open wide, look up, lift up, reach the fingers to the sky, bring in the air and energy. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, open up, look up, lift up. And exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale, reaching to the sky, bring in the air, bring in the energy. And exhale, let it go. And again, for our hands, another hearty namaste to you all. All right, you ready to get started? Go ahead and get your pillow out of the way. Scoot your butt forward, let's roll down onto the back. Give me a thumbs up before you lay down or if you're already on the mat, that's cool. Let me know if the music's too loud. Sometimes I can't tell. Thumbs up if the music's okay at this volume or decibel. Otherwise, we'll turn it back a little. All right. Thank you, thank you. Okay, rolling onto the back. Knees into the chest, hands on the knees. You know the drill. Let's rock it out side to side. Rock out the back. Wake up the back, wake up the body. Give yourself a little love. Should feel good. Some little self massage for the back. Make it feel nice. Rock it out, rock it out, rock it out. Come on back to the center and stop. Gently squeeze the knees and arms out to the side into. If you don't have room, you can do goddess pose or cactus pose, or any we bend at the elbow. With a breath, inhale, exhale, both knees over and down the right elbow. Knees closer to the elbow, bigger twist. Further away, a little lighter, you choose. And now, either looking up to the ceiling or turning the head and looking out to the fingers on the left hand. But wherever you are, be comfortable in the twist. Close your eyes, breathe, relax. Breathe, let go. Give your body a moment in this nice spinal twist. And to continue, inhale, head to center, exhale, belly tight, inhale, knees to the middle, and exhale, both knees over and down toward the left elbow. Looking up or out to the right hand, but then close your eyes once you're in position. Close your eyes, breathe, relax, breathe and let go. Nice, let's continue it. Inhale into center, exhale, belly tight. Inhale, knees to the middle. Gently reach up with both hands, catch all the knees, squeeze them in. Arms back out to the side in T or goddess pose. Head stays center, we move the knees with the breath. Ready? 
Inhale, exhale, knees over and down to the right side and touch. Inhale, center with the knees and exhale left. Inhale, center, exhale right. Inhale, center, exhale left. Inhale, center, exhale right. One more, inhale, center, exhale left. Inhale the knees back to center and stop. Reach up with both hands, catch hold of the knees, squeeze the knees in. Okay, easy stuff, right? Moving forward, inhale, stretch both legs up and out, soles the feet to the sky. So after we wake up the back a little, we stretch out the rest of the body. Tailbone down, belly tucked along at the back of the neck. So the chin points comfortably toward the chest. Reach up with both hands, stretch the legs toward you. Single leg stretches tonight. Let's have both hands on the right leg and then inhale, exhale, lower the left leg down to the mat. If you have a strap, you could engage the strap. But simply holding that right leg, reaching the heel of that right foot to the sky, toes to the nose. If you have neck or shoulder concerns, you don't have to rise up. Otherwise, you can inhale, lift up, Climb the hands up the leg, stretch out, toes to the nose, heels to the sky. Take a good breath, breathe because it feels good. And inhale, exhale, lower the head back down. One more like that, inhale, come on up. Lift up. I like to do the two shorter ones as opposed to one longer one. One more breath, inhale and exhale, lower the head back down. You could use the right hand to support the right leg. Or if you're up there far enough, you can catch hold of the big toe. Either way, inhale, exhale, opening the right hip, right leg out and down, keeping the left butt up on the mat. And when you're as low as you want to go, see if you can scoot those right toes a little more to the wall behind you. And inhale, right leg back up. One more time. Inhale, exhale, right leg out and down. Don't go too far. Try to keep that left butt up on the mat. Draw those right toes to the wall behind you. And inhale, come on back up. Reach up with both hands, straighten the right leg, and bring arms up to the side in T. You go inhale, exhale, right foot over, down and up to the left hand. Try to stretch out that leg if you have enough room. And straighten the legs. Looking up or looking out the fingers on the right hand once you're in position. Make sure you're safe. Make sure it's not too much. Close your eyes, breathe, relax, breathe, let go, it should feel good. Another breath or two. Let's get ready to release it. Inhale, head to center, exhale, belly tight. Inhale, right leg up, and bend in the right knee. Bring the left hand on the knee, right hand on the ankle. Keeping that thigh on top of your belly, as long as you're not with child, as long as the belly okay. Inhale, raise the head up, nose to the right knee, give a good squeeze and press in, wringing out all those internal organs, give them a good squeeze. Inhale, exhale, lower the head back down. One more time, inhale, come on up, nose to the knee, squeeze, breathe, press it in. And inhale, exhale, lower the head back down. Lastly, inhale, right leg up, sole the foot to the sky, arms alongside the body, Throw that right leg long as you inhale, exhale, lead with the heel, lower the right leg down to the floor in front of you. And when you're down, relax, release, big inhale. Big or exhale, let it go. Another big breath, smooth and easy, I hope so. Let's do it again. Feet and legs together, arms by your side, inhale, exhale, small the back to the mat, inhale. Both legs up, soles the feet to the sky, reach up with both hands, stretch the legs towards you. And now this time, either using your strap or simply both hands supporting the left leg, lower the right leg down to the mat. Work to reach out through the heels, fully working those hamstrings, toes to the nose and the left foot. You can stay here and just stretch it out this way, or as long as you're okay with the shoulders and neck, inhale, raise the head up. You can climb up, climb up if you want. Toes to the nose, heels to the sky, breathe. And inhale, exhale, lower the head back down. And just one more like that, inhale, come on up. Nose to the knee. I guess you can hold one long one if you prefer. That's certainly fine. I just think it's kind, a little more kind to the body to split them up. Inhale, exhale, lower. 
the head back down. Right arm out to the side, left hand supporting the left leg. Or if you're fancy, maybe you can reach out to that left big toe, but keep the leg straight. Keep the right foot up on the mat. Let's open the left hip. Inhale, exhale, left leg out and down to the left side. And just when you're as low as you can go, use your fingers and draw those left toes a little more to the wall behind you. Open up. Great. Release it. Inhale, back to the center. And another one. Inhale, exhale, left leg out and down to the left side. Once it's as low as it wants to go, draw those left toes a little more to the wall behind you. And release, inhale, left leg back up to center. You can reach up with both hands, catch a hold of the leg, and either arms out to the side in T, or if you feel a little fancy, you can reach up, catch a hold of the foot or big toe. Inhale, exhale, take that left foot over, down, up to the right side. Both legs are straight. Make sure the shoulders are down. Don't overdo it, right? Then it feels good. Looking up or gently looking out the fingers on the left hand. Head in the opposite direction of the leg. And then close your eyes for a minute. Breathe, relax. Breathe, let go. Very nice. And let's release it by inhaling head to center. Exhale, belly tight. Inhale, left leg up. And finally bend in the left knee. And again, doing that little reach across so your thigh stays on your belly. Flex your feet if you'd like. Inhale, raise the head up, nose, left knee. Give a good squeeze. Inhale, exhale, lower the head back down. Make sure you're breathing also. One more like that. Inhale, come on up. Nose to the knee, squeeze, press it all in. And inhale, exhale, lower the head back down. And finish with your arms alongside the body. Inhale, left leg up. And inhale, exhale, lead with the heel, grow the leg long, and lower the left leg down, the floor in front of you. And when you're down, relax, release. Big inhale, bigger exhale. Another big breath. All right, easy stuff. I hope so, it's supposed to be. You can slowly bring the knees into the chest, hands on the knees, rock it out a little side to side. And if you like this idea, you come back to the center and stop. You can slide the fingers behind the knees. Do three gentle rocks up and back. Make sure there's nothing behind you. Or just simply roll the side and work your way up to sitting pose. And come on over to all fours. Hello. How's everybody? Happy Sunday. Happy May. Wow. It's amazing, huh? All right. You ready to work a little more? Keep it easy. Sunday night, right? Gonna back up here where I have a little more space. So from table pose, spread the fingers wide, hands under the shoulders, knees and feet hip width apart. And inhale, exhale, drop your butt back and down to the heels, press the mat away with the palms, stretch out, stretch out. See if you can get your butt cheeks to touch the heels, the forehead to touch the mat. Take a moment and breathe into the back and just stretch it out. This is all smooth and easy stuff. I'm gonna have to change the name of the class to smooth and easy yoga. You ready? Let's continue. Inhale, come on back up to table. Cat cow. Three options, right? All four on the mat with the concave and convex spine. You do one leg lifting up, toe to the sky, lift up the head, knee and chin to the chest, or, which I never have room for, hello, you could stretch one arm forward and the opposite leg back. And then when you inhale, you lift it all up. And when you exhale, you bring it close. Okay, three choices, right? Let's do four. We'll start on the first side. I'm gonna start with the left leg. Inhale, eyes up, belly down. Exhale, bring it close, round the spine up and out. Inhale, concave spine. Exhale, convex spine. Inhale, eyes up, belly down. Exhale, bring it closed. Inhale, eyes up, belly down. Exhale, bring it closed. Knee down, hand down if you're doing the long one. Inhale, exhale, butt back and down to the heels. Wiggle the fingers, make a fist, roll the wrists around, give the hands a little love, make them feel good. Is that all easy? I hope so. I'm gonna come up here close to you next, on this next round. 
So do the other side if you're doing the long version or do all four on the mat. Hello, you ready? Inhale, eyes up, belly down. Lift up the toes, lift up the nose, lift up the fingers. Exhale, bring it closed. Round that spine up and out. Inhale, concave spine. Exhale, convex spine. Inhale, stretch it out, lift it up. Exhale, bring it closed. Inhale, eyes up, belly down. Exhale, bring it closed. Hand down, knee down, everybody. Inhale, exhale, butt back and down with the heels. Wiggle the fingers, make a fist, roll the wrist around, give the hands a little love. How are we doing? Easy? All right, inhale up the table. Separate the feet, tuck the toes under. Let's have your jackknife in your first down dog. Tailbone high to the sky. Press the head and chest back and down and breathe. Walk it out, stretch it out, walk from the dog. But before we leave this pose, come back to a static or holding down dog, gazing into your knees. Grow the spine long and tall, engage the abdominals. One time, inhale, lift up on the tiptoes. Take your tailbone high to the sky. Exhale, heels back and down, head and chest back and down, breathe. Finish it by walking your hands back to meet your feet. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Drop the head down low, tighten the belly. Inhale, slowly roll your way. On up to standing pose. Roll your shoulders up and back and down, smooth and easy stuff. Let's come to Tadasana for a moment, mountain pose. Separate the feet a few inches. Imagine the feet pressing down so you can ground through the feet. Mentally scan up through the legs, the torso, and the body. Stack up the body, stack up the bones and joints. So you can be balanced in body. Now lastly, close your eyes and imagine you can travel up through the neck, through the head, up to the crown of the head. And as you're observing the head, breathe and be centered in mind. Grounded, balanced, centered. A great way to start any standing pose. All right, so for tonight, you know, we've been doing a lot of things down on the mat. For tonight, we'll work a little bit standing, and we'll work with our Warrior Series. We're going to go Warrior 1, 2, and 3. First thing, space. Can't see it. I got it. So be careful when you're working. Be kind to your body. Make sure you're on a good solid surface. You don't want to go skidding away. And make sure you're kind to your body. We begin. Feet together. Belly in. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale. Come on out and swan dive down. Let's pause for a deep Uttanasana, down head to knee. You go classic with hands on the mat, maybe learning fingers with the toes. Some of you like to hold the legs or the shins. You can even do arms wrapped behind the knees, reaching out to the elbows, belly tight. Inhale, exhale, chin down, nose down, forehead down. Just a nice little stretch to get us started. And now let's do our warrior series. Inhale, step your right foot back big lunge and plant those toes so they're pointed out to your right side and when you're ready inhale rise up and exhale sink back and down so you want to have a nice good stance between the feet now look out to your left foot and as you inhale exhale bend the left knee and have that left foot so that it's positioned that the knee doesn't go beyond the foot and if you look at your hips imagine squaring your hips and your chest a little more forward to the wall in front of you Inhale, exhale, sink down. And if you're feeling good, inhale, take it up and back. Some people do prayer hands with the palms together. You can separate the palms. I think that feels better on the shoulders, whatever you like to do. This is our warrior one, so sink down. Keep the belly tucked in. Square them the hips, the shoulders, the wall in front of you. Be kind to the knees. Take one more breath here, and a little back stretch. Inhale up and back. Exhale, prayer hands, heart center. Inhale, left arm forward, exhale, right arm back. Open the hips, open the chest. Inhale, exhale, sink down. So you wanna watch this left knee again, make sure it doesn't go beyond the foot. And continue to make sure this left leg and thigh comes straight out from the hip. Inhale, exhale, sink it down. Strong legs. 
Strong arms, tuck the belly in. Breathe. Nice. Holding all of these for a few breaths. You can certainly do longer. Let's give ourselves a little counter pose. Let's inhale straight, the left leg exhale, right hand down, inhale, left arm up. Look up to the palm if you'd like. Open up through the left side of your body. Breathe into it. Inhale, arms up, shoulder height. Exhale, bend that left knee down one more time. And now I have to scoot back just a little. We don't go into the wall. All right. From here we transition to warrior three. Inhale, exhale, square it all forward. You can do a warrior three with the arms forward. Even with the fingers on the floor, I'm going to do arms back alongside the body. Tighten your belly and see if you can gently rise up. I still have to come back a little more. Rise up. So a couple of things. Firm left foot on the ground. Grow that right leg parallel-ish to the floor behind. You can flex the foot. Take those arms back alongside the body. Reach back through the fingers. Hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. Keep your balance. That's all that matters. But here's a nice way to exit out of the pose. So when you've had enough, and you could stay longer, when you've had enough, inhale, exhale, fingers down, foot down. Inhale, exhale, down, head to knee. Tighten the belly. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side. Rise up and touch. Exhale, heart center. Big breath. Inhale, up and out. Big cleansing breath. Exhale. Heart center. So remember with our warrior three, and again, I never have enough space. You could be out here, right? You could do what I just did with the arms alongside the body. You can even do like an airplane. And for people who struggle with the balance, just keep your fingertips on the mat and work that leg up behind you a little bit parallelish to the floor. Find a variation that works for you. Make sense? Smooth and easy. Let's do the other side. All right. So for demonstration purposes, I'm still facing this way. So separate feet a little. Take a big inhale. Give yourself a bigger exhale. Inhale, sweep up and touch. Exhale, open up. Swan dive your way down, head to knee. And this time, inhale, step your left foot back. Big lunge. And when you flatten the foot, take those toes out a little bit to the left side. Tighten your belly. Inhale, rise up. Think about squaring the hips and the chest a little more of the wall in front of you. And then inhale, exhale, sink it down. All right. We check the knee. It comes straight out from the hip. We check the knee. It doesn't go beyond the foot. That left leg and foot behind is really anchored in and solid. Inhale, exhale, sink down a little more. And just an optional back stretch if you want it. You're holding each of these for a couple of breaths. Before we get ready to leave, warrior one, inhale up and back. Exhale up. Prayer hands, heart center. Inhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, exhale, sink it down. Open the hips, open through the chest. Make sure that knee doesn't go beyond the right foot. Breathing. And there's multiple ways of doing things. Some people like to do this exalted warrior, keeping the knee bent. I always want a little break, a little rest for the knee. So inhale, straighten your right knee. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Open up through the right side of the body. Breathe into it. Open it up. And inhale, arms back up. Shoulder height, belly tight. Exhale, sink it down. All right. Now we transition to warrior three. So inhale, exhale, square it all forward. I'm going to change positions so I can be facing you this time. Square it all forward. Hopefully I can transition without it. Getting too mixed up here. And when you're ready, inhale, rise up to your warrior three. If you are able to balance, try to get the leg behind you parallel-ish to the floor. You can have the arms forward, palms facing. Some people do prayer hands. Like we did before, we'd have the arms beside us. Airplane mode's easy. But when you're all done, when you're all done, and you have that balance, take a breath, and then inhale, exhale, lower the hands down, lower the foot down, inhale, exhale, down, head to knee. Inhale, sweep the arms out to the side. 
rise up and touch. Exhale, heart center. Big cleansing breath, inhale up and out. Exhale, heart center. You do good work. Another breath. Lower the arms down. Shake out the legs. We're gonna make our way down to the mat, but let's do it nice and slow. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, swan dive down. You know, inhale, right foot back, left foot back. Inhale, exhale, knees down. Inhale, exhale, butt back and down the heels. Stretch it out again. And then slowly rise up. Walk the knees back. You're ready. And simply roll over onto your back. Roll over onto your back. And when you do, knees into the chest, hands on the knees, and rock it out side to side. Come on back to the center and stop. And inhale, exhale, stretch the legs out and down. And relax and release. You stay on the mat a minute, resting on the mat. So, trying to make sure we get the important parts into our practice each week. So now we do our back stretch for tonight. And a lot of you like bridge and so do I. And there's variations with bridge, which are kind of fun. So we'll do a couple of leg lifts with bridge. They're completely optional. The most important thing though is the back stretch. Don't worry about the leg lifts. If you can add them, that's super. You ready? Here we go. Bridge pose. Bring the knees into the chest, hands on the knees. Rock them out a little side to side. Come on back to the center and stop. Plant the feet down on the mat. Make them hip width or slightly less apart. Good position for the feet is maybe where the fingertips just touch the heels. But you know what? Make them comfortable. Make sure where you are is right for you. I'm not going to look at you while I talk as we do this because it's really important with bridge that you don't turn the head. So we start with the arms alongside the body. Press the feet down. Press the hands down. Press the arms down. Inhale. Lift up the tailbone. Begin to peel the back off the mat, lifting the hips high. Press the feet down, press the arms down, lift the hips even higher. Take a breath and release it. Inhale, exhale, slowly roll the body back down to the mat. Now, see if you need an adjustment, make sure the feet are okay. The next time we come up, we're gonna stay there and work a little bit, all right? Here we go. Inhale, lift the tailbone, slowly roll the back off the mat. Press the feet down, press the arms down, lift the hips even higher. This time we bring the arms under the body, interlace the fingers. If you can do this, great. Tuck one shoulder blade in, tuck the other shoulder blade in. Roll the shoulder blades and elbows in, press those arms into the mat, press the feet down, lift the hips even higher. Now, you can stay right here. Make sure the knees aren't going out to the sides. Think about them going into the middle if they have to go anywhere. If you feel okay with this, perhaps you could support yourself with the hands, but don't do it at the expense of breaking your wrists. Make sure you stay just as long as you want. Don't overdo. Our leg lifts. Inhale, right leg up. Inhale, exhale. Gently a little to the right side. Back to the center. Cross it to the left. Back to the center. Inhale, exhale, right leg down. Take a breath, press that right foot down. Inhale, left leg up. Inhale, exhale, out to the left side, back to the center, cross it to the right, back to the center. Inhale, exhale, left foot down. Press the feet down, lift the hips even higher. There I go, almost turning my head. Don't ever do that. Another breath and release the pose and literally let the spine roll slowly down on the mat from the top down. Save the tailbone for the very end. When you get to the tailbone, give it a gentle extra press down and then allow the back to completely relax. Big inhale, bigger exhale. Another big breath. All right, knees into the chest, rock a little side to side. Come on back to the center and stop with your arms down. Inhale, raise both legs up and out. Tighten the belly, lead with the heels and slowly lower the legs down to the floor in front of you. And when you're down, relax and release. Big inhale, 
bigger exhale, you're resting on the mat. Big inhale, bigger exhale. Smooth and easy. So as you're resting here for a moment, behind closed eyes, rest your gaze upward and centered. Rest your focus upward and center the space between the eyebrows. It's a good place to simply allow the mind to be still so it isn't wandering. All right, ready? So, go ahead and bring your knees into your chest, hands on your knees, rock side to side one more time. And then either roll over to side and push your way up to sitting pose, or you can slide the fingers behind the knees, rock up, come on up, and flip it over. Pull up, stretch out the legs. Give them a little bounce, toes and feet. Lift and tilt, lift and tilt. Get your butt cheeks behind you. Get on the front side of the sits bones. An exaggerated staff pose to really make your seated foundation strong for any seated pose. Press those palms down, tighten the belly. Draw the shoulder blades together, open the chest. Draw the toes to the nose. Breathe. Simply staff pose, holding, breathe. All right, double leg stretches this evening. There is one variation we're gonna do with the double leg stretches. I'm gonna back up a little bit. We're gonna do a counter pose for the double leg stretches. So let me demonstrate that before we start. You're gonna do it much better, much slower. But you know, we're gonna come up, we're gonna come down. And when you rise up out of your forward stretch, you're gonna sweep the arms out and down behind you. Bring those hands behind you, fingers point away. Separate the feet a little, squeeze the shoulder blades, and back up so you can see me. And then you're gonna inhale, lift the head up, lift the hips up, press the toes down, drop the head back, look up to the ceiling, and feel a little squeeze between those shoulder blades, take a breath, and inhale, exhale, come down. Make sense? All right, let's get ready to do our forward stretch. So you could use a strap if you want. I can do it this way, but I can. All right, good seated pose, butt cheeks behind you. Inhale, rise up, get tall, even taller. Inhale, exhale all the way out to the wall in front of you. Drop the hands down, catch a hold of the feet, catch a hold of the toes, the legs, or even simply rest the hands on the mat. All right, a couple things we're gonna do. Roll the belly up and back. So as long as you're not with child, as long as the belly's okay, take those abdominal muscles and roll the belly up and back. Create some space. So that's part of what we're doing, massaging those internal organs. If you're out to the feet, classic pose could be index and thumb around the big toe, drawing the toes back toward the nose. Maybe you're simply holding the feet, the legs, or keep it simple, hands on the mat. All right, you ready? Inhale, nose up, exhale, belly tight. Slowly roll the belly down. Let the chest come down, the chin. And then the nose, the forehead, but there's no straining, no price for going too low. In fact, think of the chest as being the lowest point forward and down. So hold on where you are. Keep those hamstrings stretching by drawing the toes back. Inhale, nose up, exhale, belly tight, or rolling down a little more. Belly down, chest down, chin, nose, forehead. Hold and breathe. Be kind to the back. Breathe into the back, the lower back. But continue to roll the belly. Muscles up and back, creating space. Continue to draw the toes toward the nose. Great. So good to be here with you all. It's May, can you believe it? I am hoping that May brings back a little more normalcy in our lives, including being with you in person for yoga, although I'm grateful that we have this opportunity, thanks to the YMCA DC, that we can still come together. All right, you stay there for another moment. I'm gonna drop back so you can see what I'm doing. So to get ready to release, again, make sure there's room behind you. Stretch the arms forward, belly tight, inhale, rise up. 
Exhale, float the arms out and down to the side, hands on the thighs, big inhale, bigger exhale, another big breath, all right, counter pose. Hands come behind you, fingers point away, squeeze those shoulder blades in tight, you separate the feet a little, press the hands down, press the heels down, inhale, lift the hips up, squeeze the shoulder blades, drop the head back, point those toes forward and down toward the floor, breathe. Lift the hips a little higher. One more breath. Should feel good. And inhale, exhale, release. Come on down. Or at least it feels good when we're all done. And speaking of being all done, step one, asanas are complete. So stay where you are and scoot your butt forward. Let's have you roll down on your back. Bring your knees and your chest, hands on your knees and rock it out side to side. Rock it out, rock it out, rock it out. Then, just like we did in the beginning, come on back to the center and stop. Arms out to the side in T. Inhale, exhale, both knees over down to the right elbow. Turn the head and look left. Close your eyes, breathe, relax. Breathe, let go. And to release it, inhale, head to center, exhale, belly tight, inhale, knees to the middle. And exhale, both knees over and down to the left elbow. Turn the head, looking out to the right. And close your eyes, breathe, relax. Breathe, let go. And release. Inhale, at the center, exhale, belly tight. Inhale, knees to the middle. Lastly, with your arms alongside the body. Inhale, raise both legs up and out. Tighten the belly, lead with the heels. Slowly, lower the legs down to the floor in front of you. And when you're down, relax and release. Feet and legs apart, arms away from the body, palms up and breathe, big inhale, bigger exhale. Another big breath, good work everyone. You stay on the mat. You continue to rest on your back. As you continue to rest on your back, as you rest on your back, adjust your body. Make sure you feel good lying down. As you rest on your back, make sure you feel good as we get ready for the next part of class. Step two, a nidra, a relaxation. Then a drink. So the yogic theory through the practice of the asanas, you make the body strong, flexible, balanced. But we also create, through that process, energy or prana. So you've got this circulation, all this rich oxygenated blood, all this pranic energy flowing through the body. In our nidra, our relaxation, we put the physical body to rest and we let the energy body to continue with the process. It's our thoughts the theory energy following thought. So it's our focus and thought on a particular part of the body that is said to draw more energy to that part of the body. Bottom line, it just simply feels good. And let's begin. You're lying on your back, you're comfortable. Make sure you feel good. Roll those shoulders back, open the chest, draw the shoulders away from the ears. And you're breathing that diaphragmatic breath, that resting breath, inhaling, belly rising. Exhaling, belly falling. And our nidra is pretty simple. You simply have to gather up all your focus and attention and bring it down to the feet and toes. So mentally observe your feet and toes, the skin, the muscle, down to the bone, down to the very center of the bone. And as you observe your feet, say to yourself, my feet are relaxing. My feet are relaxing. Breathe deeply into the feet. Feel your feet relaxing. Feel your feet letting go. And then move from the feet to the ankles, to the calves, the shins, the knees, the thighs, the hips. This time, deeply observing your legs. Say to yourself, my legs are relaxing. My legs are relaxing. Breathe deeply into the legs and feel your legs relaxing. Feel your legs letting go. And then mentally scan up to the torso. We're going to start on the back side, mentally observing the buttocks and the lower waistline. 
scanning up the sides, eventually scanning up to mid-back, scanning on up the shoulder blades, neck and shoulders, tell it all to relax, tell it all to let go. And then move your focus back around the front side and scan from the hips into the pelvic area, up across the abdominals, mentally scanning up the sides, up across the belly, up across the chest. Again, to the neck and shoulders. Let's include the arms, so mentally scan from the shoulders, down the arms to the elbows, from the elbows down to the hands and fingers. So this time, as you deeply observe your body, say to yourself, my body is relaxing. My body is relaxing. Breathe deeply into your body and feel your body relaxing. Feel your body letting go. And lastly, mentally scan up the neck and throat, up to the mouth and tongue. Relax your jaw, slightly separate your teeth. Relax your tongue, relax your lips. Relax the cheeks, deeply relax the eyes, allow the eyes to feel warm and liquid like they're sinking back into the skull. Relax the nose, relax the ears, relax the temples, the forehead, and lastly up across the crown of the head and down the back of the head and neck. So this time, deeply observing your entire being, say to yourself and really feel it. Say to yourself, I am relaxing. I am relaxing. Breathe deeply into your entire being and deeply relax, deeply let go. And so you can enjoy and just sink into that feeling. One more time, rest your gaze, rest your focus, upward and center to the space between the eyebrows. Imagine behind closed eyes as you mentally look inward and upward, you see light. Simply imagine, turn on that creative mind. And imagine mentally, when you look upward and centered, see light. Don't wander away. Stay there for a moment. Sink in. Relax. Let go. Sometimes if you need a little something more for the mind, and if you've been with me before, japa yoga, very effective, mantra yoga. It doesn't have to be complicated. Even this recording, as you're resting and breathing, you mentally repeat to yourself, I am. Maybe inhaling I, exhaling am, or even just with the music, hear that in your mind for a final moment. Beautiful. Now, step two, Nidra complete. And I know a lot of you say you would love a whole lot more time in Nidra. We could do a whole hour on each of these aspects. But let's get ready now. So we need to come to sitting pose, but really do it slowly. So breathe, move your fingers and toes. Breathe, move your hands and feet. Your arms, your legs. When you're ready, you can stretch out with a big inhale. Get long, roll over to your side. Give yourself a sweet pause on your side. And then slowly push your way up to sitting pose. Take your time. Sitting on a pillow, sitting on a mat, sitting in a chair, but have a tall spine. 
Let the chest be high and open. Roll the shoulders up and back. If you like the idea, index and thumb together, palms up if you need more energy, or index and thumb, palms down if you need to be more grounded. Close your eyes and let's focus on the breathing. As we move to step three, our pranayama, we're first with just our little diaphragmatic breath. That's our resting breath. Inhaling, belly rising, exhaling, belly falling. It's the default breath. But now, as we move to pranayama, we start to focus and we change it up. So our foundation for any pranayama is that three-part yogic breath. All the pranayamas that we do together, we use that foundation. It's so easy because you inhale, you fill the belly, the chest, and the upper chest. And when you exhale, imagine emptying upper chest, chest, and belly. You need to take it slow, so imagine you have a valve that's half open. So you inhale and sip the air in slowly, filling all the way up. And that valve still half open. When you exhale, you control it. And just allow the air, upper chest, chest and belly, emptying out and down, even pulling the belly button in a little at the end of the exhalation. Follow your three-part yogic breath a few times. Slow it down. Tonight, we go back to the alternate nostril breath. So the foundation is still three-part yogic breath, but our Nadi Sudhi, or alternate nostril breath, helps balance the energies, the masculine and the feminine energies, further brings the body and the mind to a state of being still. Here's how I teach it. Bring up your right hand, take the index and middle finger, place it to the center space between the eyebrows. Bend in the ring, the pinky finger, rest your thumb on your cheek. The bent ring finger becomes the valve for the left nostril, the thumb the valve for the right nostril. So we're still really tall, and we're still really working that three-part full yogic breath. And what we'll do is we'll do this alternate nostril breath to the count of six, but we synchronize together. See if you can follow along. If you know what you're doing, and you can do your own thing. So, with hand in place, one big inhale through both nostrils, one big exhale through both nostrils. Use your thumb, close the right nostril, inhale left, two, three, four, five, six, close left, open, right exhale, two, three, four, five, six, inhale right, two, three, four, five, six, close right open, left exhale, two, three, four, five, six, inhale left, two, three, four, five, six, close left exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, inhale right, two, three, four, five, six, Close right, exhale left, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale left, two, three, four, five, six. Close left, exhale right, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale right, two, three, four, five, six. And close right, exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, and bring the hand down. Big inhale through both nostrils, make it long and smooth and full. Bigger exhale through both nostrils. 
Close your eyes and rest your gaze upward and centered. As you rest your gaze upward and centered, imagine and see that space between the eyebrows light, light and open. Our third eye chakra and yoga philosophy, our energy center for knowledge and intellect, or simply just a place for you to rest your mind. You return to simple breathing, your diaphragmatic breath. Little inhale through the nostrils, little exhale through the nostrils. Smooth and easy. And all your focus is upward and centered. Now we've set the perfect stage to move forward into meditation. Many ways to get there. Our focus is always, with me anyway, on light, that abstract idea. With your focus upward and centered, turn on your super creative mind and imagine you can see that space between the eyebrows shining brightly, shining brightly from the inside out. And for this evening, I just want you to simply stay focused on that awareness of light, upward and centered, and imagine in that space between the eyebrows, seeing light. If the mind wants to wander or think about something, let it think about, can I see light upward and centered? Is it a steady light? Is it one color? If I don't see light at all, can I mentally create it and imagine it? But allow yourself to be fully and completely focused, upward and centered, and imagining and seeing light. And hold yourself there. Breathe. Don't wander away. It's here in this quiet center where we come to the very beginning of meditation, many ways to get here, many reasons to be here. One of the reasons I like to always quote or say is, come to yoga, come to meditation as a way to heal, to heal yourself physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Come to meditation is the way to hit the reset button, and we need to hit the reset button a lot these days. But for no other reason, come to meditation so that when you come out on the other side, you simply feel better, lighter. Mind had a chance to clear. 
You did it all yourself. You did it all naturally. That's good for you. So as we prepare to close, let's breathe and find your hands and fingers and move them. Breathe, find your arms and shoulders and move them. Breathe, find your head and neck. Give it a little movement. And breathe and bring prayer hands to heart center. You can even rest the thumbs on the breastbone. Take a moment, close your eyes. First, call back your intention. You set a dedication for your practice. Call it back. See it in your mind's eye and take a moment to see it fulfilled and satisfied in every way. See it, feel it, be it, make it your reality. What does your intention look like to be fulfilled? Wrap it in your light. And as you're gathering up some of your light and goodness that we create and pull out deep from the inside, gather up an extra handful. There's a lot of people in need who need some healing light and energy. You can open up the palms and kind of catch your fulfilled intention and some of that light that you created. If you're creative enough, Imagine, imagine, you can feel your light, your energy, the power of your fulfilled intention, the palms of your hands. And then as we always close, with one big breath, you're ready, inhale, pair hands up, all the way to the sky, and when you open up the hands, send out your light, your goodness, your healing energy, send out your fulfilled intention to every corner of the universe, and then slowly bring hands to prayer, and say to each and every one of you, Namaste. Thank you guys for being here. Always good to be with you. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I think it's Sunday today, which means I'll see you Thursday night at 6 o'clock for more yoga breath and meditation. Have a great week and again, happy May. Thank you. If you like the class, give me a heart, give me a thumbs up, like our site. The DCYMCA Virtual Wellness Center and contribute and help those in need. If we're not in need, we're a lot better off than so many others. So make sure you share. Thanks, bye. Coming in from a close up, good to see you all. Thanks for being here. Can't wait to see you in person. Bye for now.